Breaking news this morning on KXAN News Today. Severe storms produced at least two confirmed tornadoes early this morning. One near Fredericksburg and the other in Round Mountain area just outside of Blanco County, just south of Marble Falls. Now, these are the rough tracks of where the tornadoes hit. Sean Kelly standing by in the First Warning Weather Center to walk you through that tornado timeline. We'll get to that in just a moment. Good morning and happy Easter. I'm Jacqueline Powell. We have full coverage of that storm's impact this morning, both images of the tornado itself and the damage that it caused. So first, getting to the tornado itself, the storms produced another confirmed tornado in the Round Mountain area south of Marble Falls. This is a live picture actually from uh, this that area this morning. You can see some of the damage there, a truck out there. Uh, the National Weather Service confirmed that tornado touching down at around 530. Now we have multiple reports from viewers that the tornado hit an RV park and overturned multiple RVs. Severe thunderstorms also this moved through gigantic. Del Rio last night, leaving behind large hail. Now this is where it all kind of started. Take a look. Lucera Trevino shot this video of the baseball sized hail. It measured just under three inches in diameter. Meteorologist Sean Kelly is tracking the damage from that severe storm. And Sean, you're looking at where and when that tornado might have hit. Absolutely, yes. Uh, we do have uh, several paths to uh, go into depth on, but first I do want to note, which is very important, all watches, the tornado watches and the tornado warnings have been lifted as the storm systems uh, continue to push out of the area, out of central Texas. But yeah, let's dive into uh, these potential paths here. Again, uh, you can see one uh, near the Fredericksburg area. That's where we have that uh, live coverage out into Round Mountain as well. Confirmed tornado uh, between about 4.30 this morning through 4.50 in the morning. By the way, it was the same cell that continued to intensify, drop a tornado down, lift back up, weaken, and then drop another possible tornado down along a 16 uh, just south of Eckert between 4.45 in the morning through 5 a.m. and then another likely tornado between about 5 a.m. and 5.20 a.m. This one a track just north of Sandy and just west of uh, 281 again near a round mountain area. This is where we have that confirmed tornado and a possible track here between about 5.20 in the morning and 5.35 and then an additional a potential uh, tornado track here between 535 and 540 in the morning. This one northward of uh, Spicewood and Smithwick and then another additional possible tornado between about 545 and 6 a.m. Lago Vista and uh, north of uh, the Jonestown area between about 6 a.m. and 6 10 a.m. Fortunately for us, it stopped and weakened just before the highly uh, populated area here along uh, 183 from Walkerton uh, back west into uh, North Lake Line Boulevard and all these uh, communities here uh, just uh, before 615. It dissipated, so uh, certainly some good news there. All right, a live look right now of what's going on in your area. We do have some back building here with some additional rain showers, some heavy downpours along 35 from Georgetown back down towards Dripping Springs, just north uh, uh, of the Blanco area, and then some heavy rainfall now exiting Milam County. So all in all, improving conditions Despite the very stormy start to your Easter Sunday morning, it's going to be a fantastic day. A little bit windy at times. We're going to talk about that wind coming up. But remember, 